Hi guys, it's Dawn. Um, today we're going to be unboxing the Witch's Moon, which is very late. Um, there seem to be some kind of delivery problems, but I'm happy that's here now. So we're going to be unboxing this. I'm really excited. I have no idea what anything is. I didn't look up the theme or I haven't seen any unboxings. So. That's odd. Okay, they don't have the paperwork on the outside this month. It's on the inside. And we have our paperwork and a tarot card. It says, you're entering a time of great love and peace. I hope so. Be patient and allow the current storm to clear. Resurrection. No more wounds. Only love predicted for the future. Beautiful. And you have no idea how true I hope that is. Okay, so... Let's see what else we have in here. You know, I don't... Well, let's read the theme because I have no idea what the theme is. Mm, the Witch of the Wind. So, it still looks like we're dealing with the elements. At last, the witch sat quietly among the deep forest trees as she spoke to the soil and sang to the leaves. She began to wonder, combining through the list of challenges she currently faces... She inhaled deeply, sighing on the circumstances ahead. Breaking the silence, a strong wind brushed against her face as if, to, as if to wake her. A gentle yet important reminder has been passed to her very by watchful winds, providing her with messages and insight that she may choose to inspire and empower her. In this very special November Witches Moon Collection, we work with the spirits of the wind, allowing us to call upon the deep, and intimate energies that waft within them. In this one-of-a-kind collection, we provide exclusive tools that were created to enhance the magic that flows along the ever-changing path ahead. It is important to always remember that your path is sacred to your individual self. We recommend taking the time to connect with the items in this box and use them in a way that makes you that feels correct to you. Every practitioner resonates with different ideals and ways of performing ritual. We do not take this work lightly and strive to provide the highest quality ritual items for you to use. Be sure to clear your space and cast your circle of protection before performing any type of ritual. The magical items in this box are as follows. Okay, I'm not looking at that. So it looks like the theme is um, the element of air or wind. Okay, and we have a paper bag. Okay, this is all different. Okay, wow. Okay, we have a lot of artwork, it looks like. So, let me lay this down. All right, we have a sigil. Yeah. Okay. Um, this looks like a chant is a spell, probably for a spell candle. Let's see. You guys can pause and read it if you want. Excuse me. Eros was the personification of the east wind, one of the four directional anemoi associated with the season of autumn. Eros dwelt near the palace of the sun god Helios in the far east. The Romans used the Greek name Eurus for the east wind. Alternative Latin names include Volturnus and Vol, turn, turn us, turn us. Okay, I'm sorry, you guys. This is 
a lot of words that I do not know. Um, and it goes on to tell you about the east wind. You guys can pause this if you need to. Okay. And then it tells us about the west wind. Uh, Zephyrus. Zephyrus. Uh, was the Greek personification of the west wind, one of the four seasonal wind spirits known as the Anemoi. Zephyros was considered the gentle of the directional winds, especially in comparison to the strong south wind and the colder north wind. The west wind traditionally held in the spring season of the Roman Venti. The wild, the west wind went by the nearly identical name Zephyrus or Favonus, Favonius, meaning favorable. Today, the name Zephyrus is used generally to, to describe a warm light breeze. Okay. And it tells you the symbols, uh, the names, and the gifts. And I will kind of put this up here for you uh, you can pause it to read it beautiful artwork notice the personified, personified winged deity of south wind one of the four mythical wind spirits of the Anemo Anemoy gosh darn uh Notice was the wet, storm-bringing wind of late summer and early autumn. Notice resided in Ethiopia, the legendary southernmost realm. The Roman south wind was known as austere. Uh, symbols of the south wind, bull, constellation of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, dog, goat, harvest, heat, horned, Creatures, horse, serpent, cyrus, vessel of rain. It says keepers of the south wind. And it goes on with many names I can't pronounce. And then the gifts of the south wind is a gorgeous artwork. Uh, if you guys can pause it and read it, by all means. Okay. The north wind, Bopius. Oh, I'm sorry, that's R. Boreas is the personified winged deity of the north wind, one of four seasonal wind spirits called the Anemoi in ancient Greek mythology. Boreas heralded in wind weather hailing from the cold north mountains of Thrace. The Anemoi were adopted by the Romans as the Venti, and the north wind as the Aquilio, Aquilo, Aquilo. Okay. And I am skipping the hard names. I just can't do it, guys. I'm sorry. You guys can read this, I hope. Okay. So we have... Four artworks, a sigil, and a spell. Okay. And we have another bag laying right on top, so I'm going to grab it. Okay, this bag has our herbs. I have a lot of chicory. I harvest chicory myself. Linden leaf. I have none of this. And anise seeds. Wonderful. Okay. I'm going to lay them here with their little baggie until we get ready to go through the list. All right. 
We have all kinds of goodies on top, you guys. But the first thing that's really sticking out are the salts. So that's what I'm going to try first. We go out and cover some of the stuff so we can get to it. Okay. So we have the breath of Enil Enil sacred salt. If that name is pronounced differently, someone please tell me. Enil sacred salt. Okay, I'm going to give this a whiff, a sniff. Oh, it has chamomile in it. It smells like maybe peppermint, eucalyptus, something minty. It looks beautiful. It smells very fresh. I love it. Very fresh and light. I, I, I think that's great. I love it. All right. Um, I'm going to pull this out. Oh, look, you guys, we got a spray. Very nice. The spray is an extra. It's not something that we get every month. So when we do get them, I really enjoy them. It's leaked a little, but it's okay because it leaked in the bag. I'm good with that. Oh, my God, it smells so good. Smells like it has peppermint in it, you guys. And you know how much I love peppermint. Wow. Oh, my goodness. The spray smells phenomenal. So, I can't wait. I did throw a bag away because it was leaking in the bag. I usually keep those um, and recycle them and resend out, but I just couldn't do it. Now, this is Gentle Air. Ritual Aura Spray. I like that. I love it. Mm, it is a beautiful, beautiful scent. It kind of matches the salts. I'm very happy with that. Um, our candle is like sticking out here to me. So, oh, it's pretty. And I didn't forget my knife this time. It looks like it is going to be a beautiful blue. There it goes. I just had to get it in there. I don't know how they get these wraps so tight. Uh, it has um, lavender. And it smells divine. So, it is a blue candle with lavender. And wow, does it smell really, really good. It, I think there's more on it than the lavender because I can smell the lavender very strongly. But it smells like something else too. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful scent. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so we have that. Okay, I think this is our oil. So we got a Sprite and an oil. That's nice. That's really nice. Okay. Y'all, please ignore my nails. My nails are awful. I haven't had time to do them again yet. And I've been working, so they've been chipping. Okay. And this is the Four Winds Magical Anointing Oil. It is beautiful. It is very light. It has some little herbs floating around in there, but it's not a heavy oil. Okay, I'm going to give you a whiff. It looks divine. I don't know what they've put in here. Some type of leaf. Uh, I don't know. I couldn't even guess. It matches the 
spray and the salt. It has some kind of minty scent to it. That's not the only scent. I can't tell you what else is in there. It smells really fantastic. Everything smells really, really good, you guys. Okay, and we have our incense. So, I, I, I'm i really getting out all of our staples, I guess you could say. And our incense are remembrance. And they smell really good. They do not smell uh, minty like everything else does. Mm, they smell light and floral. And I love them. I think those would be great to burn during my... Um, the spell that I'm working on um, until the full moon. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have a blue bag, a blue organza bag. Inside the bag, we have bubble wrap. So, let's see, okay. Oh, wow, guys. We got a little um, selenite palm stone. Isn't it beautiful? Let me take it out of this little bag. Selenite is very delicate, you guys, so be careful with it. Don't drop it for sure. Watch me drop it. Okay, here's here's a closer look of the selenite. It's beautiful, and selenite has a moon connection also, if you did not know. Um, so, I'm really loving this. I have um, several pieces of selenite because of the moon connection. Beautiful. I'm really liking that. Um, it's a little bit smaller than a palm stone, maybe. Maybe a meditation stone. Um, when I talk about palm stones, I talk about something this size. To me, this is a palm stone. And you can see the difference in size. Um, I'll hold them up like this. See, so there's a little bit of a difference. That does not mean I do not love it, because I do. All right, let's see. And I don't know if they sent it as a palm stone or a worry stone or whatever they sent it as, because I haven't read the paperwork yet. So, now I'm going to pull out the big thing I've been avoiding pulling out, because um, I saved the best for last. I have not had a clear view. I know he's my favorite color. Um, and it's some kind of mask. Okay, so I'm going to start removing the squigglies now. Wow. Okay, he's wood. And it says the witch's moon on the back. So, it was probably made for the witch's moon, specifically. There it goes. Sorry, guys. Okay, and here is the front. And it does have a hanging device on the back. Okay, and here's the front. There we go. You get it out of that sunlight so you can actually see. The detail work is phenomenal. There you go. All right, so I I love that. It's beautiful, and that's my favorite color also. So I'm going to set everything up in the box so we can read about the things that we have discovered in our box this month. I'm kind of excited. I mean, I've got all of the stuff, and I'm thinking about what I can do with it, how I can use it, which spells I need to do. 
Um, also need to do a banishing spell or show a banishing spell. Um, someone has requested that and I have not got to it yet. But I promise you I will get to that banishment spell. All right, let's see. Our herbs. Our selenite. Okay. So I'm gonna just log off. All right, baby. My oil. My incense. And the beautiful, beautiful candle. And I can't keep you enrolled, guys, because I don't want to lose all of the goodies on it. But you guys got to see it and the color and the goodies and all that's on it. So I'm just going to wait back in here. All right. And our little baggies, which are great to use for parchment, guys. So you want to keep those for sure. As a matter of fact, I am putting them with my other natural parchment papers right now. So I do not forget and so no one throws them away. All right. So this is our setup. All right, and I'm going to read for you guys. All right, number one, handcrafted wind spirit plaque. There's so much wisdom to be gained from working with the great and powerful air and wind energies. The lessons learned are some that hold such deep, intimate meaning to our craft practices and perspectives, as well as holding a very sacred place within magical practices of old. You will find a bounty of wonderful stories that span across the world Capturing the magic and messages that the wind carries upon its back from the gods and goddesses that control and maintain the severity of storms to the deep and spiritual divination practices used to understand the future and what may be coming upon the horizon. The wind is very much associated with the element of air. We work with these energies in the same context, understanding that action, progress, clarity, and transformation play a large role in its practical uses and incorporations. Air and wind bring new ideas and opportunities, wash away confusion, maintain in perspectives, brings change to our environmental and mental process, and let's see. And most importantly, facilitates movement during the times of stagnation. In addition, the wind provides us with more opportunities to communicate with the spirit, hoping to purvey messages and signs to those that are willing and intuitive from sacred, intuitive enough to listen. We have worked to capture the essence of these energies within this handcrafted wind spirit made from sacred teak wood. Ethically sourced, this beautiful lightweight wood is often known to live up for up to 15,000 years. Carrying within it countless messages from experience and wisdom whispered to it by the watchful winds, this very plaque has been in the process of being created for almost the entire 12 moon cycle entire 12 moon cycles, resonating deeply with our purest of intentions. It is in its masculine form, this wind spirit has been carved to bring momentum to actions you may tend to put off or push away, yet are the most necessary on your path to capture and achieve true manifestations. Allow this carving to remind you to stop and listen, letting go of clutter and inner conversation and perspectives. The knowledge that is found within the wind that flows around you 
carries very personal and specific messages. In these wonderfully transformative moments, we tend to forget the role of others and the status quo pushing upon our psyche by those around us. Relax and focus on your breathing. Allow your body to become weightless and your moment to become effort. And let's see, wait. Movement to become effortless. As stated by me throughout time, the winds are changing. We must contemplate that what this may mean to our personal path and allow ourselves to connect with the divine energies. We truly wish for this wind spirit to guide and assist you on your very important journey ahead. We urge you to call upon the wind spirits you wish to connect with and ask questions, questions, state your intentions, and say words of grateful testimony. May the winds push and pull, wind and weave, bestow and let carry on by G. Ibis. All right, so that is all about our plot, guys. Effortless Movement Sigil. Okay, this is our sigil. Okay. The sigil was created for this very special collection and comes from our personal Book of Shadows. Copied from the carefully hand-printed original piece, the intention that resonates within this sigil is that of effortless movement. As an air sigil, the energies associated with this design represent the continuous ability to move through life with ease, allowing challenges and disruptions to easily brush off our shoulders as we allow our anxieties and fears to dissipate, we begin to gain a sense of clarity and calm, providing us with new energy and vibrance. As a result of our communication, as a result, our communication becomes resonant and authentic to our true self. You will see a small dot placed at the top of this sigil for reference. Incorporate this sigil in your practice in a way that feels appropriate to you. I see the dot. So, it actually goes like this. Excuse me. All right. Wind, cor wind Correspondences Book of Shadows artwork. Um, and it, I'm not going to go through this because it, I already went through the uh, artworks themselves. Hand road, rolled Watchful Wind Spell Candle. We have hand-rolled and charged this candle with the purpose of opening your environment to influences of the watchful winds. We recommend burning this candle during times of deep internal work where you may be seeking answers, support, and guidance in your immediate reality. We always recommend being comfortable within your space so you may speak words clearly out loud, enhancing relevance and intention in other world realms. As the flame therm from this candle dances before you, take the time to listen intently, speak clearly, and act confidently. We will, we have enhanced this candle with oils of spearmint, peppermint, lavender, and lemon. We have also pressed dried lavender buds around this candle to allow calming and inviting energies into your space. Okay, and it gives you a warning about the candle. You don't leave candles burning, especially those with herbs. Um, the Watchful Winds Incantation Book of Shadow Artwork. I'm guessing that is this. We have included this exclusive artwork within this box to accompany your Watchful Wind Spell Candle. After using this incantation, we recommend placing it within your Book of Shadows for future reference. And the artwork was done by A. E. Alden. The words were done by G. Ibis. Okay. There's a lot of stuff in this box, guys. Okay. Anointing. The Four Winds Anointing Oil. 
We have created this magical anointing oil with the intention of bringing you closer to the energies of the four winds. This is a wonderful oil to anoint specific magical tools with, such as statues, coins, talismans. As you anoint your magical tools, it's very important for you to be speaking your intentions during the process. This gives purpose and permission to the energies you wish to create and call upon. Along with other air blends, this very special anointing oil brings with it a sense of understanding, willingness, communication, and action. We have enchanted this magical oil with peppermint, lavender, lemongrass, and have included dandelion leaf, linden leaf, anise seed as well. Inside your oil, you will find a Lemurian quartz said to person personify oneness within your order aura. Excuse me. And they have put in Keeper of the Winds Magical Oil from their personal Academy of Witchery. The base is sunflower oil. Um, so always test it before you use it. Uh, Breath of Enlil Sacred Salt. Known to be the ancient Mesopotamian guide of wind, god of wind and air, Enlil sits on the high, highest throne of mythology and ideology in the ancient Pathion. Also called as the Lord of the Air, Enlil carries power and presence beyond belief and is said to control the gentle or aggravated storms or breezes passing along the earthly terrain. As the ruler of the sky, the breath of, breath of Enlil is known to bring great blessings, fertility upon those permitted to receive it. We have create, created the sacred salt with the intention of incorporating wind and air energies into your bath ritual. As you sit with these natural energies, practice breathing, working rituals that may allow you to heighten your ritual, uh, as you sit with these natural energies, practice breathing, working rituals that may allow you to heighten your consciousness. While you are free of anxiety, negative self-talk, worry, or allow yourself to resonate with feelings of accomplishment, purpose, meaningful progress. Know that the path of the action you choose to take will lead to victory. Accomplish, accomplishment, purpose, meaningful progress. Know that the path of action you choose to take will lead to victory. Chem okay. We have enchanted this sacred salt with lavender and spearmint oils, as well as linden leaf, spearmint leaf, and chamomile. We have also included a special mixture, mixture of call upon and prosper magical oil from our personal cab cabinet of witchery. Nice. All right. Gentle Air Ritual Aura Spray. This is awesome. I love this box, guys. Okay. We're thrilled to be able to introduce our Gentle Air Ritual Aura Spray within this collection. We have created this aura spray with the purpose of easing any concerns you may perceive as a burden, potentially slowing any progress you wish to achieve. We recommend using the air or a spray during times of stress or when you feel as if your responsibilities and tasks are too much to overcome. This is perfect for me. As you spray this elixir throughout your surroundings, visualize your physical being becoming weightless, your mind becoming clearer. As you touch anything that surrounds you, be gentle as if there is no need to place effort on tasks that do not need it. We have created this magical oral aura spray with oils of lemon, spearmint, bergamot, and a special mixture of our Ventum magical oil from our personal Academy of Witchery. Very nice. Selenite palm stone. Used as a facilitator of cleaning and communication, selenite is a wonderful partner to work with. While we commonly use the stone to attract spirits near, selenite can be placed on several, shock, several chakra centers to cleanse and realign before starting any physical, spiritual, or magical practice. In addition, while seeking answers to changing questions, 
Selenite is a wonderful to, tool to help open passages for your guides to send messages and signs. Elemental connection, air, water, chakra connection, sacral, sacral, and third eye. Great. Remember, remembrance ritual incense sticks. We have placed remembrance ritual incense sticks within this collection for you to burn on or near your altars to incorporate within your rituals. This wonderfully fragrant incense was placed within this collection with the intention, intention of allowing you to experience flashes of understanding during ritual or meditation. As the smoke from this incense wafts through your surroundings, visualize the physical space around you disappearing, making space for your thoughts and intentions to waft throughout multiple spectrums. Very nice. Linden leaf. Known for its protective quality, linden leaf is most commonly seen growing in gardens as a measure of safety against psychic and physical attacks, as well as protection. Linden leaf is used during ritual to keep spirits present and alive while you work through your practices. We recommend placing linden upon your altar during divinatory practices to, ma to maintain a source of communication. That is interesting, and I'm probably going to incorporate linden leaf into my spell tonight. Uh, chicory. The remover of obstacles, or chicory, is an absolute favorite of ours, is a friendly companion for any practitioner. Carry this fragrant herb within a mojo bag or sachet. If you go on about your day, to break down any barriers that may stand in your way. Very nice. Anise seeds, used during meditation to maintain relaxation and sense of calm. Anise seeds have commonly been placed within sachets or incorporated into incense blends for ritual use. Anise seeds have also been used to call upon spirits when seeking guidance and directions. Place, your, place upon your altar or use within your creation of elixirs to enhance the energy surrounding you. Very nice. I may add a niece to my um, incense blend. My loose incense. And then, of course, we have the personalized oracle reading. And we have our parchment paper. Um, and it goes on to say, as you perform your rituals, do not set expectations. Cast your intentions and be a pure of heart and mind. These very personal moments are for you. So, is so much knowledge available to you? Take pleasure in knowledge that you are in control of your future and the blessings that hold it, that it holds. Open yourself to receive these beautiful gifts. We send you protective and fearless energies as you waft along your path to enlightenment. Blessed be the Witch's Moon, November 2020. Wonderful. Okay. So, I think I will definitely be adding Linden Leaf to my spell as well as the Anise Seeds. I think it, they both go very well with my spell. And really, as soon as I read what they were, I knew I needed to have them in my spell. So, that is what I am going to do with those two. Just right out of the box. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm very happy about it. I'm excited. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do a chit-chat video after this. But thank you guys for watching. Um, I really enjoy sharing the boxes that I get with you guys. Um, I love when you share with me when you guys unbox. Um, I really enjoy watching other unboxings as well. I like to see people's reaction and their surprise. And I am just super thrilled with this box. I was super thrilled with last month's box. And I am sure I will be super thrilled with your Yule box. 
Um, also may use the incense they sent as an offering to um, the spirits. Um, anyway, I'm really excited. As you can tell, I'm going to um, add my stuff to my spell work from last night. Uh, I love you guys. Many blessings. Bye-bye.